The Bulladilla Plain Wetland is a council-owned reserve. It's 366 hectares in size. Uh, it's a fantastic natural area. Uh, it's a real asset. Uh, it's got an amazing diversity of different vegetation community types and uh, including wetland systems, lots of frogs, lots of wildlife. Uh, it's, it's managed by council as a council reserve. This land was acquired back in 2012 for, for the purposes of water quality protection. We understood that uh, an important part of preserving water quality was harnessing the, the, the benefits of natural systems. Wetlands are like the kidneys of the system, so they purify water. By securing and protecting natural spaces for ecosystem services, uh, we can do great things, important things, uh, positive things for water quality protection. We're only a couple of kilometres upstream of the extensive Mile Lake system. It's an internationally recognised wetland, but it's been prone in the past to have uh, impacts from, from runoff, which has led to uh, deteriorating water quality at times. The public reservation of this land has a host of other benefits. It's uh, an amazing area for biodiversity, uh, for retention of dynamic range of native vegetation communities uh, and wildlife habitat. We've recorded a number of threatened species in here from the spotted tailed quoll, the squirrel glider, long nosed potteroo and, and the frog hopefully we can hear behind us, the wallum froglet. Uh, it's, it's quite an incredible area. It's, it's more than, than, than just a wetland and there are many different types of wetlands. We've got uh, vegetation communities ranging from wet heath to, to dry sclerophyll forest to, to swamp mahogany forest through to, um, to floodplain wetlands and, and riverine wetlands. It's 366 hectares but it's incredibly diverse in terms of the range of vegetation. The, the number of plants and animals that live within it is, uh, is incredibly diverse as well. So a pretty extraordinary area. So back in 2013 the first action council undertook following the acquisition was to install uh, stock exclusion fencing around the perimeter of the wetland. Cattle uh, do a lot of damage to wetlands, wetland vegetation, they like to chew on the, the vegetation, destroy the soil and um, they also uh, contribute faecal matter to the water which isn't good for the health of the water. There was a lot of uh, solid waste that had been dumped on this site for many years prior to the council acquisition. Uh, we've removed about 24 tonnes of rubbish. We've done routine uh, feral animal controls uh, targeting foxes. Uh, they're a high, a high predation risk to many of the threatened species that we've got on this site, particularly the long-nosed potteroo and the New Holland mouse. I think we've removed around about 20 foxes since 2013 and we undertake a regular uh, baiting program on the land. We've actually re-vegetated re 11 hectares of the floodplain area. Uh, we've planted over 11,000 native species using locally sourced seed and we're achieving some really good results with that. The site's really starting to regenerate quite well. Uh, we've also implemented a nesting box program across the site in uh, trees uh, that don't contain hollows. We're starting to get a, a little bit of occupancy some, for some gliding mammals and things like that, which is encouraging. We do a lot of uh, motion camera monitoring across the site in, in conjunction with our feral animal control programs. Uh, we've recorded some really cool, cool stuff on here. Uh, we've had the spotted tail quoll, uh, long-nosed potteroo. Uh, we get lots of, lots of macropods, bandicoots. Wallabies, it's a good tool for us to use to, to identify what's on site and it helps to uh, identify the actions that we can take to protect those species. Within the broader locality, councils negotiated a, uh, a conservation agreement with a private landholder which has also conserved many hundreds of hectares of, of wetland habitats and, and other important natural areas. The two conservation areas combined will, have, will, will work together uh, in, in, in a way that uh, enhances wildlife populations and water quality outcomes. And when you combine that with all the other catchment intervention works that council and other agencies are doing, uh, hopefully we'll see um, positive improvement in, in water quality into the future. Oh look, this is a great site. It's, it's been really exciting to see the transformation that's, that's happened just simply from keeping stock out of the site. You never know what you're going to see when you come down here. And it's really good to be out, out in nature enjoying what we do and making a, an effort towards improving the water quality in, in the Mile River. It, it's uh, personally very satisfying to be involved in, in a team effort and a, and a council initiative where you can secure and protect uh, an important area such as this. I get great joy about coming to a place like this and seeing the, 
the range of vegetation we've protected and the wildlife that, that lives on the land and knowing that we're contributing as, as part of a suite of measures to enhancing water quality in our, in our fantastic uh, lake and estuary system.